Welcome to Box Fresh Radio. Box Fresh. Box Fresh. Box Fresh. Giving you new music you want to hear. Live from some studio in the UK. Giving you the new music you want to hear in some sort of chart show format. I give you the Magic Chart Show. With your host, Magic Pa... Pa... Palmer. Oh no, knocking that up. Sorry. Welcome to the Magic Chart Show with me, uh, Magic Palmer. Um, yeah, my name is Magic Palmer. You can find me on Twitter at Magic Palmer. Uh, you can find me at boxfreshradio.com. And yes, you are listening to the Magic Chart Show. You say, what is this Magic Chart Show, Magic? Uh, and how many times can you repeat magic in a sentence? Well, basically, this is me playing tracks that I have found around the world, unsigned and signed, things that you may not have heard before. Um, and we're going to play them. Then I'm going to get people like yourselves, the beautiful listeners out there, to vote for your favourite track. And then that track will be played and celebrated on the following month's show. Um, so last month was the April show. Um, and we have the winning track that we're going to celebrate and play at the end of this show. And we'll do a little bit of a rundown and... Uh, have a chat about that. Um, we are joined today uh, by my guest presenter. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing out there? Uh, my name is Alex Williams. I'm the managing director of North of South Records, and I'm here to listen to some fantastic music. Some fantastic music indeed. We have got some great music, I tell you, really have today. Um, that first track, again, monster track that's been played underneath this as a bed, uh, that is Free Sun Rising with Light of Day. Uh, you can find them on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and all the other social places. Just type Free Sun Rising. Um, basically, they're, uh, let's just find my information where I've just lost it for some reason. 
Uh, always professional. We are Free Sunrise in a four-piece originals rock band from Birmingham. We've been together around 18 months. We started gigging last year, uh, which included a couple of nights at Birmingham O2 Academy. And a heads- like headline slot, nice one, uh, at Birmingham Rocks Festival uh, amongst a whole load of other shows. So, yeah, they are gigging. And they've only been together 18 months. That's brilliant. Well done, guys. Um, their tune, Light of Day, was featured on the interview, uh, their first TV interview with Johnny Doom for Kerrang Radio. Uh, wow. You're doing really well, guys. Awesome. We're going to have a chat about that track um, after we've played the next track, uh, which uh, everyone can listen to in a second once I've turned this one down. Uh, so we're going to play that this track, and then uh, we're going to do a bit of uh, constructive criticism. Well, um, Alex is, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. To use his uh, professional powers <laughs> um, on this track. But we're going to play this next one. Check this one out, Alex. This is a, a monster.
Monster. That's a powerful track, that is. I, li- I like that. Um, that was South Fall, a uh, Midlands-based hard rock metal band formed in early 2005. Fleming Eck, that's another one, early 2015. Uh Right, wide range of influences, including Shine Down, Alter Bridge, Alice in Change, Blackstone Cherry, uh, and a lot more. They've written down here, loads of them. Heavy riffs, melodic tones, both harsh and clean vocals. Yes, indeed, I agree with all of that. Uh, they've got some gigs, though. Um, I mean, you can check them out. I mean, I, I, they sent me a press pack. Thanks, guys. Uh, but you can find them pretty, pretty easy. Just uh, jump on uh, Google and type Southfall, uh, and feel free to put that track in C4 and find that one. Uh, they are playing uh when are they may 13th at scruffy murphy's in birmingham may 26th at the roadhouse in birmingham uh then june the is that the 16th uh the arches venue in coventry june the 19th again in the roadhouse birmingham so if you jump onto roadhouse arches venue scruffy murphy's i'm sure you'll be able to find them there get in contact with them and uh, have a listen i've put uh free sunrising back on because we are going to join alex and see what he thought of that track and then see what he thought of southfall so what did you think of free sunrising mm. by the day absolutely right to magic i think it was a good track um i just felt that the vocals was a little bit quiet for the track itself and because the vocals the actual sorry the, the track um had heavy drum beats and guitar riffs it needed a strong vocal for it so for me it was just either slightly sitting down too much quieter in the track or it could be a, a more powerful vocal but okay ap- apart from that i thought it was a nice track it was spot on i did like it i think mm. uh the riffs are great um the guitar was really clean and things like that and i really like that track but mm. um yeah so uh so you wow so you would write that track though yes you know? yes yes absolutely but, uh, you yeah. do think what the vocals need a bit of a bit of oomph or a bit more oomph uh, a bit more volume a or? bit more volume in the track because the track was quite strong okay yeah well i um heard i mean if you jump on their uh, uh website free sun rising and have a listen um they have got some of their old stuff um that's my that's alex's phone going off is that uh that's uh Somebody joining. That's my helicopter. Just North of South Records there, <laughs> buying buying a million copies. Of the, of, Hopefully, of fingers singles. crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, if you jump, I, I jumped on and I listened to some of them, and that's I think that's uh, one of their first mastered tracks. Uh, and that's spot on, guys. It's really good. Um, I think you go, especially what was it? You've what was it? Let me just find the information. Uh, yeah, they only. Um, 18 months ago they formed that's so pretty good for somebody who's that's formed good. that <laughs> yeah that's a cracking one then the uh, the one after that let me press play on here was the uh, south four what did you think of that one c4 i really do like that track i gotta say i mean the start for me was different and that's sometimes what i look for is something that's slightly bit different because i used to be in a, a reggae rock band many moons ago and those heavy guitar riffs is what we used to do in a reggae in a oh, reggae wow. band which was absolutely brilliant I love the vocalists. I just wonder sometimes how, with the screaming, how they manage to keep that. Because t- <laughs> <laughs> after a while, to keep alive. Absolutely, surely after a while, it's got to do some form of damage. Um, I mean, you're not a heavy metal fan, are you? But, I, I mean, you don't do listen like, to a lot. But you, when you do hear it, yeah. you do kind of go, "Hang on, this. Why? Why aren't you listening to more?" In the sense, I yes, suppose. But yeah, yeah I yeah. think I am amazed that they can they can do that. Um, yeah. It's not always my cup of tea what they did which i think is great is they do a bit of it bit of the throat in yes, a bit yeah. of shouting yeah. and then they do their singing yeah. and then the harmonies and, and things like that and i yeah. think it works it works quite well doing it like that that works very well and also the chord changes was nice i like the way that they did the chord changes through the bridge um the lead guitar was a bit quiet for me when okay. he was doing the air when they were doing the lead i wanted to hear that guitar rip it was very quiet okay mm. fair play Fair play. But overall, love the love the track. Absolutely. Awesome, brilliant guys. Track, yeah. well, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well, that was uh, Southfall uh, C4. If you want to uh, jump on and vote for either of those, Free Sun Rising or Southfall, uh, then jump on to boxfreshradio.com uh, and uh, vote for them, and hopefully they'll be selected to, to win the vote and get played again next month. Uh, I did have uh, somebody, quite a few emails say, where, where do we vote, where do we vote? Uh, if you jump on the website, boxfreshradio.com, um, then there will be a menu bar on the left, or if you're on a phone or a tablet, there'll be a menu bar in the middle, I think. 
uh, click that it'll open up and it will literally say magic chart show voting page uh, I've tried it we've tried to make it uh, as easy as we can uh, if you've got any any issues then, then feel free to email us at boxfreshradio uh, at gmail.com uh, and also if you want to send any tracks in then uh, that's the, the way to do it is boxfreshradio at gmail.com um, yeah and also stick my name in the subject just put magic chart show because uh, hopefully we're going to get some more shows on box fresh radio and uh, it'd be nice to keep the filing system of the emails <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just doing my uh, what is it called admin is it part of the admin Whoa. just doing the admin of the show that you know there's the fire exits are here here and here uh, hopefully everybody will have a safe trip um, <laughs> but yeah so anyway yeah south fall free sunrise into two awesome uh, big tracks big tracks so now we're going to stick on the next one you ready for the next one Alex? absolutely okay we go with the dark swan dive <laughs>
Wow. Big track. Big mm, track. Yes, 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 um, yes. That was Dark Swan Dive with Unfinished. Um, they were formed in January 2016. What, what is huh? it about? The <laughs> 2016? That's what he's put here. No. It, does he mean 2015, do you think? Mm. I don't know. But he's, he's put here some five pins. Nice, <laughs> nice. It's a good good start. He's a, he's a, he's a five-piece man from Birmingham, UK. They quickly found chemistry between the members and started writing. Uh, they recently recorded a few tracks for their upcoming EP, uh, Energetic Live Shows, that uh, a bit of an old school rock. It did have sort of a punk element, I think, yeah, as well, yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Um, got a few upcoming shows, so check them out. I'm sure you can find them on uh, Facebook, etc. And they're also in the second round of the Battle of the Bands in the Flapper. Is that in Birmingham, Flapper? That's in Birmingham, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, oh, uh, that's great. I hope you do well with that, guys. 8th of May, so if you're listening to this uh, during May, then uh, find out whether or not they've uh, they've done well or throw the votes in. Um, I'll try and get a post up on Box Fresh Radio, um, Twitter and Facebook to help you guys if, the, if you need votes uh, for that. Because, um, you know... I think you should. I think you should at least go through to the next round with that song. It's an awesome song. What did you think of that one? I did like that one. Also, it's an absolutely brilliant track. I think what what um, with us producers and record executives is when we do get a track sent to us. If you're captured within the first two to four bars, then you know it's going to be a good song. Even though I've got to listen through all of this, obviously at the moment, but <laughs> I thought the actual beginning was very creative very mystery um and also the, the vocals love the vocals this was saying about the vocals being above the track you can okay, actually yeah. hear it's very clean vocals very nice mix um the lead guitar i thought was a little bit safe he yeah. didn't sort of let rip a little bit not just um sound wise but actually going to take the the actual track to another level he could have done that a bit of a but solo or yeah the solo itself was a bit safe yeah. um Hayat, I thought there was at the beginning the Hayat was missing. It is there, but it's very quiet, and I okay. thought that would have lifted the the other part towards the track. Not too sure about the end, but do I do like it? My head was shaking away. Absolutely think, love yeah. the track. I think you're going to smash your guys with that. To be fair, I yeah, think all absolutely. three tracks we've had so far have just been smashers. Uh, what I've tried to do a little bit. It's very difficult with a kind of chart show. If you're into your metal and your rock, then obviously you must have enjoyed those first three tracks. Uh, but uh, if you're not, then uh, you might. Have have to wait because i kind of blend it from a metal to a bit of acoustic bit of indie then we go towards a pop and uh sort of the dancey area side of things so unfortunately for you metal heads out there uh don't switch off uh, please broaden your horizons and uh give everybody a chance and have a listen you never know what you're going to find really uh and then vote for your favorite so as long as you listen to the whole show and go i loved dark swan dive so uh, i'm going to vote for it then great uh there's nothing wrong with that uh, but I'm going to have a quick chat with Alex now. What uh, What is going on at the moment with North and South Records? Well, North and South Records, as you know, it's uh, based in Birmingham, and we spoke about this before. And what we're trying to do is really create a platform for up-and-coming artists, young artists, um, with all the talents that we've got in Birmingham, is to make it happen. And at the moment, we are trying to get uh, crowdfunding going um, to get two underprivileged artists who are absolutely brilliant um, to get them from nothing to getting their tracks out, doing videos, um, photo shoots. We also got a, um, uh, a publishers in America, um, which have just signed a massive deal with Sony Atlantic. So oh, wow. it's a great, great opportunity for anybody at the moment. So the actual um, crowdfundcampus.com is where our, our campaign is to get two young underprivileged artists from the community from nothing to something shall we say okay. uh, at the moment we've raised 1030 pound it's 26 days to go for this campaign but we are looking for as much back as properly as possible i should say so just go on there and then have a look at it and then we can talk a bit later a bit more yeah, no worries, no worries. I'm just reading it now. The aims are to change the lives of young, talented artists in deprived communities through an exciting and full experience. Uh, so is that, uh, let's have a quick read, is that in the sense of uh, 
giving them the opportunity to uh, what record and yes. uh, video and yep. things like that. By Absolutely. The looks of it. Well, it's it's not only just the, the the stuff that they need to be out there, which is a track, video, photos, album sleeve, and all the rest of the thing, but actually teach them a little bit about the music biz- business itself. Okay. Because you got to know understand contracts. You got to understand all the point system and uh, make sure that you've got a bit of awareness about what's going on around you oh brilliant so that's mm. really going to help these guys by the looks of it absolutely uh, so yeah all right guys we'll get on crowdfund uh, crowdfundcampus.com uh or join uh, i'm sure there's some information on north to south records facebook and twitter mm-hmm. um and you can pledge uh, some uh, moolah to help these guys underprivileged artists create some some fantastic music uh, and obviously watch them in, uh, evolve uh there's also uh, some of the pledges i'm looking at some great stuff here uh you can get exclusive uh, signed photos of the people uh, you can even lay down your own tracks if you want to make your own music. Uh, you can, and you'll also be helping out uh, this underprivileged artist as well. Uh, and uh, the top one, the full Monty, if you want to actually sign to the label, oh, brilliant, mm. uh, and be a global artist, and that records. Uh, I suppose that's sort of the same thing, isn't it? Recording, video, all the, the well, full Monty. Everything. You said it right there, the full <laughs> Monty. So that's crowdfundcampus.com, uh, and it's on there as Young Artist Program. So go and check that out. Uh, we're going to play the next track. So, uh, Alex, get ready with your I'm ears. Ready, and your, I'm ready. And your critique for, uh, I think this is called Screefy. Hurt the ones you love. I hope it's called that, or I've just swore in some country. <laughs> How did you find yourself in this state, in this state of affairs? And how did you find yourself in this state? Oh. And how did you find yourself? In this fate, trying to forget things you can never forget. And how did you find yourself in this place? In an empty coffee shop, smoking endless cigarettes. Oh, you can tell it anywhere you please. How life brought you to your knees. Responsive 
That was uh, Screefy and uh, Hurt the Ones You Love. Um, so that art is uh, Screefy art, Andy Murphy, uh, singer-songwriter and acoustic guitar, and Kevin Wade on piano and keyboards, piano and keyboards, uh, from Dublin in Ireland. Well done, guys. I really enjoyed that. Uh, they've been com- uh, recording 10 tracks over the last year or so. Uh, I hope you didn't just join last year because that'd be annoying i've been doing music by myself for like 20 years <laughs> and when people go oh we only, we only joined up last week we've done a 10 track <laughs> album um so yeah well done guys i've done 10 tracks over the last year or so uh one of which is hurt the one uh you hurt the one you love which was that one uh hoping to release these songs on the debut album in the coming months titled drum roll everything is connected uh, and they've just completed shooting the music video for another titled song, uh, 100 Years, to be released in the... Uh, sorry, another song titled 100 Years, and that's uh, to be released in the coming weeks. Uh, so, yeah, jump online, Screefy, and go and uh, check them out. And they're also, they've put that they are currently unsigned to any label or management company. There you go, Alex, sign them up. <laughs> I, I I quite I, love, I do like the track I got to say um, they remind the, the vocalist remind me a little bit of uh, Mick Jagger tones he's got the oh, yeah, yeah, Mickey yeah. Jagger tones going on and a bit of Dire Straits going on with the guitars kind of thing you know the the general outlook of the thing wasn't too sure about the drum mix at the beginning where he, okay, I, yeah, I yeah. think they were trying to get a live feel about it but it was just a little bit light it wasn't really sort of coming through the okay, track yeah, itself. Yeah. Um, I think in, in places the, the drum and bass don't actually work together just in certain places when they slow it right down and it didn't, didn't yeah, yeah. that part there. They weren't as tight as. But overall, I think it's a nice track. I think it could go quite far. Um, it just, again, it's all about the mix sometimes. You've got to yeah, make sure. Yeah, I you think know. it's, it's uh, I think what you've said over a few of them is um, that they're obviously playing their things and if they go into the studio then it it sometimes it it can be a bit and if you're paying for somebody's time and they're mixing your track yes you know it it, it, it's i don't know it's almost impossible to get the complete production unless Mm, you throw in thousands and thousands at it and and then can just return to the studio whenever yeah but if you've got 10 hours to get this track done then yeah i mean uh so yeah but in a corner of uh i can imagine i'm in a corner of a pub and on a big stu- uh, yes. big stage, yep. I can imagine him uh, on both um, and just rocking it out, really. Absolutely. Everybody with their lighters up, singing along. and I agree. Fantastic. Absolutely. I really enjoyed that. Love that one. So we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, oh, you've got to check this out. <laughs> Alex, stand by your bed for okay. this one. Uh, it's just, I don't know. This uh, We'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> شوف بلادي زاهية من غير هم كمان نعيش يوم عادي تنزل فيه نقطة الدم كمان نشوف بلادي زي كل البلدان تاريخ حضر ومستقبل وعلم وسلم وآمان نشوف صغير فيها يحلم آه 
نستنى نشوف اللي بيه رأسه مرفوع في كل مكان مش بسلاحة ما هو الراجل يفليها بدراها شرد خوك ما هوش الحل نتمنى نشوف الناس فيها تتعلم يا بلادي يا بلادي نفتك بروحي ودمي وعمري That was Hani Elcott, I hope I've pronounced that right, uh, with Wish. Uh, again, he, uh, he, didn't, he, he sent me this quite recently, literally uh, yesterday, I think. So I, I didn't get a chance to grab too much information off him. And he sent it me, uh, I th- the title's actually in Arabic. Uh, so I tried to Google translate it and had about three different versions. Uh, but I went with Wish. I hope it is called that, and I apologise if it's not. Um, please slap my wrists. I don't mind. Um, but what did you think of that, Alex? Fantastic. That's all I can say. Absolutely love the guitars at the beginning. Um, very clean, nice recording. The vocals are fantastic. Um, he's got great melodies. Whether it's in English, Arabic, or whatever, it goes right across the track. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, the vocals and the guitar were talking to each other. Um, I would have loved to hear some backing vocals, but it didn't matter because he had a fantastic voice anyway. Brilliant. Yeah. So you love like it. That. Any, any criticism? It. Um, not really. Just uh, I would have loved a little bit of BVs. But, Just a bit of BV. Uh, apart from that, it was absolutely brilliant. Bit of BV, son. Yeah. Get a bit of BV on that, mate. Absolutely. We all were rocking it. I think it had a Western feel. Mm. Um, I think... It kind of reminded me of some of the acoustic stuff that I've heard on some big rock uh, albums when they yes. do the odd acoustic one. Yeah. Uh, and I think he could pretty much smash it, even with a massive band behind him. Absolutely. Uh, you could see him as that uh, 
he's from Libya, mm. by the way. So you, you, you could see him on that Libya's Got Talent. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smashing it up or something <laughs> like that. If there's one of those, go and do it because I'll guarantee you'll win. Because yes, uh, that was fantastic, mate. Uh, nice. Well done. If you want to go and check him out, you can just go on to uh, YouTube. I managed to find him. Uh, Hanny Elcott. And he's got a few covers on there. Um, uh, English covers as well. Uh, and go and check them out because they are they are very good, very good indeed. How do you spell his name? Uh, H A N I E L K O T without the uh in the middle. So it's Hanny H N H A N I and then Elcott E L K O T, uh, and that was called Wish. If you want to vote for that one, uh, then jump on boxfreshradio dot com, uh, vote for it, and uh, hopefully uh, he'll get it played uh, next month. So, Alex, I'm going to turn to you. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you're getting, giving some criticism yes. uh, as well as praise to these yes. tracks. Yes. Uh, and that reason is because you are a bit of a veteran in the music biz, are you? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, um, b- being a producer, I've been a singer-songwriter, I've been in numerous bands. Um, and also, when you work with professionals, you tend to have... You could have a, a musical ear, or you know what I mean. It's 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 something that comes a bit natural to yeah, me, whether something course. sounds good or not. You can not all the time. You can get the hit singles, but at least it needs to sound right. You yeah, know what I mean? And yeah. I've been. Uh, I'm a I'm a singer now myself. You know, and I manage quite a few bands. I manage uh, Brothers of Soul, the ones who do. Uh, Temptations, Four Tops, The Drifters, Divas of Soul, who do all the female versions of that, Natural Blue, uh, quite a few bands. And the the reputation is that they've got to be spot on yeah. vocally and musically. So you spend a lot of time with your artists and, get, and get it really Absolutely. tight for the stage shows Absolutely. and gigs that you do. Yeah. So you're gigging every week? Every you, single week we're wow. out. When it's the girls, the guys, myself, we're always doing shows. Wow. And that's how you learn your trade. Yeah. That's how you get your things. When you come in the studio, if you've not done a lot of shows live, you tend to be a little tight. You tend to be a little bit synthetic. When you are gigging all the time, performing in front of people, yeah, yeah. when you go in the studio, it becomes a lot natural and everything's opened up. Yeah. Really yeah, good. I give you that. Mm. Definitely. I think as well, there's a, there's a, well... I think there's live and studio. I think people can be can sound brilliant in a studio. Yes. I mean, all these tracks here, I would imagine, uh, are done. I wouldn't say on a budget. I'm, mm. you know, they're they're done with the money that they've earned. That's right, uh, and the money that they can uh, that they can spend. Um, but obviously, there's going to be a point where uh, when they do get signed, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands and pounds thrown at it. Yes. That that uh, that you could make an onion sound good. If With a you good threw producer. an onion on the floor, yeah. there's your kick drum right there. You know <laughs> what I mean? If, if your producer's good, if the producer's uh, good, yeah. But obviously, yeah. I think with what we've got here is, um, you know, if these guys aren't good, you're going to tell straight away. Yes, absolutely. You know what I mean? If they're absolutely. going in and 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 doing a ten hour sh- ten hour session for mm-hmm. one track, yes. Uh, whereas if you muse or you know these uh in justin bieber you know he'll go in and probably spend 20 minutes singing mm-hmm. but then some guys spending 100 hours on make the track making right. it sound the best That's right, yeah, uh, but obviously with live yeah i don't know whether you agree uh with live it's a completely different story i mean yes. that's a another whole ball game it's a different ball game you've got to be spot on there and then you can't go back and go oh let's fix that or oh, that's slightly out of key if you're out of key they'll hear it you know. I suppose as well with your guys singing is it covers covers they yeah. do covers um temptations four tops and at the end of the day we you know it's some people thrown uh, with that you know yeah, you yeah. do covers but uh, you know you got to get it right you got to get it right you if you're out of key on. singing a cover yeah. people are going to know about They'll know it know straight away they're singing along at the same time That's aren't right, they in the audience absolutely, absolutely. Um, so if somebody wanted to i don't know book you guys where's the best place to to hit you well i mean um my Email address awmusic86 at gmail.com. That's about the best way to sort okay. of email so me. awmusic86 86 86 at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. So if you want to book, uh, is, there, is there any videos up online or anything? Yeah, that they can it's all on YouTube, Brothers of Soul um, and the Divas of Soul. Just look for those. So go and check them out check and then give out, you yeah. an email. Absolutely. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, if you want to, uh, uh, what do you, what kind of stuff do you do? Anything or bookings for? Yeah, anything. Parties Weddings, or... parties, 
Oh, brilliant. Absolutely. So if you want that, you can obviously rewind this show and the details will be there. There's no point in me repeating them because that's a brilliant thing about digital technology. So anyway, that was uh, Hanny Alcott. Um, if you want, as I said before, if you want to vote for that, then feel free. Uh, boxfreshradio.com. Uh, we're going to push to the next track. Okay, that was the uh, Android Jelly Babies. Uh, what did you reckon to that, Ali? Um, I've, I've, heard, I've heard this band before, and they do a track called Porsche, which I thought was a hell of a lot, lot better than this one. I thought it's a good track. It's fine. Just a little bit too much things going on for me. Um, the changes were a little bit too much. Okay. Um, the vocal was a little bit light for me. I thought it needed something, a, a stronger voice, basically. But... Overall, good track again, um, but it's just too many changes. Yeah, I kind of thought that. I think uh, if I was to get my hands on it and go, right, guys, I think we need to do this, I think I'd just go, right, let's do a two-minute smasher. Yes. Let's use yeah. the best bits of this, mm-hmm. which, I mean, that, that bit that's playing now, which is yes. the bit with the hazing and stuff yeah. is great. Yeah. Um, this is the chorus. <laughs> I was trying to work out what I'm on about. Don't listen to me. I have known nothing about anything. No, no. Yeah, well, that's what I do. I think two minutes uh, would have been a really good good little punk yes. punk track, I suppose. Mm. Um, but no, I liked it. Android so, Jelly Babies. Yes. Um, so if you want to find them, uh, you can uh, on uh, www.androidjellybabies.com. Uh, you can also find them on Facebook and like them there. And they're also on Reverb Nation at uh, 
on the chart for Birmingham uh, area. I think they're number eight or something like that. So well done, guys. Uh, I'm sure they've got some more stuff coming out. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to jump right into the next one because um, because I can. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of those tracks that stops at the end and I'm not ready for it. Way, I'm awesome, me. Uh, that was the Lemonade Kid uh, with Rising. Um, let me just uh, get my little pad. Um, yeah, I'm Lemonade Kid from Shrewsbury, he wrote to me. Fair play. Shrewsbury is in the UK. Lovely part. It's really nice. I do like driving yeah. around there. Uh, Rising uh, is the track at the moment that he uh, is pushing and also it will be in a movie uh, whatever, what happened last night, which makes its debut at the Cannes Film Festival. Wow. Well done, God. That's, that's fantastic. Um, why is my music in the Cannes Film Festival? <laughs> Alex, <laughs> North well, of Sam. Yeah. Um, he's got a new EP out uh, in the middle of May, uh, which will be called either I Used to Fall in Love or Satellites. Which one would you prefer? Satellites? I think Satellites. Satellites, I think. If, you, if, if the music is going to be along the lines of this... Um, 
sort of electronic uh, with your vocals over the top, then I would go with the satellites. Um, but uh, yeah, let us know. Let us know which one you chose. But uh, that is the Lemonade Kid. Uh, what did you think of that one? Um, <laughs> love the beginning. Absolutely love the beginning. Love the the beat. Very creative. Um, great vocals. I, I like your vocals, but what spoiled it for me was the distorted vocal sound. I don't know why did he need to put that in. Well, the first bit or the the, well, the second bit, where it, this yeah, bit, yeah, that bit there. Why? Yeah, yeah, because it's a bit got, too much. It's too much. His vocals are good, nice melodies, and the beat is fantastic. And then all of a sudden, he takes it to this, and it just changes. Maybe the song. if he did it himself. I mean, I, I, the only thing I've ever done with music is. Um, well, rap, <coughs> rapping or talking quickly in a musical form, um, just because some rappers think I don't rap. Um, so I talk quickly in a musical form, mm. and uh, sometimes when I want to put a bit more aggression in, I'll do it through my voice uh, with a little, like, use the uh, distortion, but very minimal, but kind of push your your voice out further, if you know what I mean. So yes, you sort of yes. shout it a bit more, because you've mm. got the first bit, which is kind of like very low talk, and then this bit here that you're got the distortion or maybe yes, just yeah. bring your distortion down a bit but give it a bit more punch from, That's your, right, absolutely. from yourself absolutely uh, but i do think this track would be great on a film i, I definitely yeah, think absolutely. it's gonna work if it's put yeah. in the right place mm-hmm. this is gonna this is gonna this is gonna make his film or yes. their or her sorry i'm being sexist mm-hmm. uh this is gonna make their film far far uh, better from his track absolutely agree with you so but you enjoyed it absolutely enjoyed it Love and a bit it. of um old school 80s pet shop boy Mm. Um, feel to it a little bit definitely definitely got that yeah. so uh, Alex we're going to talk about you with the North South Records <coughs> while you're coughing your uh, guts oh. out um, so what is happening with North and South Records at the moment well, this record label that you run absolutely uh, at the moment just come out last Friday was hit the buffet it did from Magic Palmer Me, yes go now. and check it out go and check it out check it out check it out fantastic song and obviously it's out there and we're just going to get it on the radio plays and get everybody listening to it, get everybody buying it, yeah. get everybody playing it at their parties. That's weddings. it, yeah. At buffets, that's when I made it for. So um, yeah. I was, the thing is, I'm not really going to play it on this show because it's not really fit for me being biased because I'd just end up winning every month. <laughs> and then it just become. I'm already got a massive ego due to this show being called the Magic Chart <laughs> Show. I don't want it to be the Magic Chart Show featuring all of his own music. All of his own music, um, um, yeah the spoiled little child will be definitely uh, too spoiled i think with that uh, so what else you got um we're going we're going to do a very good remix of uh, game changer from caddy um a f- track came out last may and we're going to do a massive remix of that and get that out in the clubs oh wow um later on in the year obviously we're going to array at a track out last year called tonight um which is East meets West because her is half uh, Egyptian, half Yemenese, and um, she was brought up in Britain, of course. Absolutely brilliant vocals, and uh, we worked quite hard on trying to get the blend for that. So, if you want to listen to tonight, that's out there now, and the next track's going to be called Foolish, okay. and we'll release that in the next few months' time. Okay, so they can jump on uh, northforsouthrecords.com, yep. uh, the website. Uh, also, if you go to YouTube, uh, and type my name in Magic Palmer with a J, not with a G, because mm-hmm. with a G it is actually a golfing aid tool used <laughs> to um, uh, tee off. Oh. Um, yeah, called the Magic Palmer, and it's quite. I'm, I'm almost want to sample it into a track because it's mm-hmm. quite interesting when people are going. And uh, now I'm gonna place the uh, Magic Palmer into the ground. Uh, I think, or is <laughs> something in their hands? It's, it's <laughs> Magic Palmer in your hands. Um, palm. I think that's where they get it from. Palmer, mm, the yes, palm. Yes. Um, but sometimes Magic Palmer can be uh, referred to as something else. Uh, anyway, um, yes. So go to YouTube, type in Magic Palmer with a J uh, and buffet, and then that will take you straight to the North or South Records uh, page, and that's where you can uh, see all the other videos mm. and uh, future things that are coming up. Uh, with the music tracks and you can go on Spotify and yes, iTunes and all that absolutely. as well can't you? Yeah. 
All right, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well, let's uh, crack on with the next one. Oh, yeah, if you want to vote for Lemonade Kid, I'm not forgetting you, mate, uh, with that track rise, and then hit uh, nor- uh, North of South Africa, Jesus. <laughs> hit boxfreshradio.com and, uh, yeah, vote for him. Hopefully he can be played uh, next month um, and win win the vote. Win the vote. I've got a creaky chair. Um, he's not going to be played. The next one is called Ebony Gibson uh, with Block the Road. Meet me on the road Jump That was Ebony Gibson with uh, Block the Road. Block that road. Get the road blocked. That's what you need to do. Um, she is from Bahamas. Oh, wow. I'm jealous. Um, we're from Birmingham, and it's uh, it's actually a nice day today. Nice day to today, i got to say. To it's a blue fair. sky. Yes. It's very nice. And this, this tune goes well with the blue sky, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, the song is in a carnival competition that will be judged on May the 6th. Oh, wow. So you have to let us know how you do with that, and I'll uh, let everybody know next month. Um, yeah, she started solo artist in January 2012, um, and she's been, been lead singer in years uh, for years in, in several bands. Uh, she also has her own band called the Blue Connection Band, which you can go and check out. Uh, for more info, you can visit the website. That's ebony242.com. Uh, and on Facebook and Instagram, it's Ebony Gibson 242 and uh, Twitter, Ebony underscore 242. So 
I'm sure if you go to Google, Ebony Gibson 242, I'm sure you'll find it, find it all there. She has a desire to perform international and show the people what a great entertainer and singer she is, which uh, you definitely are. Uh, Alex, what did you make of that? Yes, love the Calypso beat, absolutely brilliant. Good, good song in general. Um, again, my critical ear stands out. A little bit of tuning in places for me. Okay. Yeah, little okay. some areas where just the tuning was just a little bit <laughs> off. Um, and I think it just it's, it's a continuous singing all the time. It doesn't give the the song a chance to breathe. So a little bit of music. Just yeah, because there, there was that middle section, mm. um, which I thought it was going to give that real yes. sort of um, sort of native to to Bahamas right, uh, yeah. sort yeah. of section, yeah. uh, which probably could have been done. But I think if she's on, I think if she's on, like this, maybe this bit here, drop the voice mm. a bit and just yeah. have it as the, yeah, just have a bit of music going on, music or for put a middle to. eight in there or something like that. But just continuous singing, yeah. and sometimes you're not sure which one's the chorus. I think block the road might be the chorus yeah but it ain't catchy enough to say well oh that's the chorus yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah so yeah. just a bit of distinctions required yeah, really that's, this is the chorus oh right okay i thought that was one of the verse well yeah. okay <laughs> yeah. all right but it's still good yes yeah, still, still good. fantastic tapping oh yeah tapping. Oh, i think it's definitely something that could be put out worldwide yes definitely. Um, if we're here in birmingham in uh, sunny <laughs> sunny slash rainy depending on what time mm. of year it is uh, UK uh, I quite happily listen to that um, as long as it's a sunny day it's got to be sunny you can't be doing you can't play this in the rain <laughs> <laughs> probably not no. you just feel miserable wouldn't you yeah. but uh, no I definitely 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 can see some dance moves and uh, other bits and pieces with that so well done to uh, Ebony Gibson for that track uh, if you want to vote for that track then jump up on boxfreshradio.com uh, hit the menu button and go to the voting page and stick your vote in and then hopefully uh, we can play it again next month um, we're going to stick another track on you ready for another one Alex? yes let's go for it Sprung now, slow wine. 
it's a bit of a baseline outro there. Get that, get those speakers. Oh, nice. Get those uh, speakers rumbling with that one. I think. Uh, I think. Hang on, no, we just got. Come in. Hello. That's all right. Somebody's just knocking on the door uh, with a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. I should think so. You tried to choke so. me earlier. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I burnt some incense, and uh, yes, it completely uh, ruined Alex. Um, I thought we, I thought the butler was coming in then here at Box Fresh uh, Radio Studios at the Towers, mm. uh, but unfortunately, is not. Uh, so anyway, that was um, Euphema Ellison. Uh, is that correct? Yes. Uh, let's just double check because you were you were you worked with her, don't you, a little bit? Uh, exactly. Yeah, Euphemia Ellison. Uh, you can get her at Fema Music uh, on Twitter, um, and that was the track called Wine Low. Uh, so if you want to vote for that track, then feel free. Uh, just uh, the butler's here. Say hello. Can you? you can, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just bought us a. Uh, co- are you not going to give it to our hands? No, we've got to get up and get our own coffee and tea. Thank you very much. Pardon? Say it again. Biscuits as well. Ooh, hey, nice. hey, what biscuits we got? <laughs> oh, we've got gold bars. Gold hey, bars. dip them in coffee, mate. <laughs> Orgasmic. Oh, you got tea, haven't you? I got tea, I got tea. Uh, I'm, I'm not a tea man, to be honest. <laughs> um, so anyway, what did you think of that? Fema um, Wine Low. Yeah, I, I mean, I do like the track. Uh, great beat, very catchy. Um, her vocals... Very, very good. Um, very clean backing vocals. Um, in places, the mix is a little bit too loud when they add the other backing vocals to it. It's just a little bit too loud. It, yeah. The balance is not uh, correct on that. Um, I, I personally would have liked the bass coming in a little bit earlier for the track. It just takes a little bit too long to come in. Um, very creative on the middle eight with the vocals yeah you know i thought that was really really good generally good track um i think it needs a little bit more instruments in there to give the caribbean kind of um continuous feel yeah it's a bit Um, empty i I don't know i like that you like the emptiness yeah i thought because there was a bit where it was just the beat and 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 her singing Mm. and and i thought now this is good man this is what i wanted i just wanted this player i mean maybe if like you said like the other track where we had this sort of section of a a lot of instruments if we could go and and grab all these sort of instruments in a room big Mm. percussion section yeah Yeah. uh which is you know helps the dance in a sense the sort of dance section i think Mm. for me would work in in terms of inserting more instruments instruments in yes, yes. but i think uh for me i thought it was great but i'm a big fan big fan of fema uh, hello to you so uh yeah if you if you like that track then get on uh, boxfreshradio.com and vote for it and uh we can uh hopefully get that played out uh on next month's show if, uh, if it wins the vote so uh this one is the uh last but one uh this is the last one that we can vote for um but it's uh obviously we're going to do our rundown the exciting rundown oh can't wait for that last month's yeah. show <laughs> so uh here we go with the uh, last track of this month come on come on come on Sounds good, don't it? Come on, uh, come on. Uh. This is summer vibe for the ladies. This is Cotton Mills, aka C Mills. Check it out. Hey, lady, you got it going on.
over to my place Let's get nasty Let's get nasty, baby I rub your shoulders I leave it make you scream my name What's my name? Up and down And round we go Our bodies are burning Let's take it slow Okay, we're going to uh, drop that down because it is the two-step mix, uh, 12 inch, about six minutes long, and uh, we need to uh, start wrapping things up for the show. But uh, yeah, that was uh, I Want Your Body featuring Colin Mills, and that's by uh, Yillavation, uh, Y-L-L-A-V-A-T-I-O-N, Yillavation, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, got a bit of info for you. Um, uh, yeah, they've done five remixes and they're in the process of doing uh, an EP, so look out for that. You can find this track uh, on iTunes. It's already ready to purchase if you want to purchase and stick it on your uh, on your <laughs> stick it on your pod, <laughs> on your iPods, your apples, and your bananas or whatever. Uh, Colin, who uh, Colin Mills, who uh, is on there, is Colin Sugarfoot Mills. Ah, and Colin started his career in music industry at the age of eighteen. Um, so, do you know these guys? I do. I don't know the guys. I know Colin Mills. Do you? Yes. Oh wow, cool. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's a great track. What did you think of that one? Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant track. Very catchy. Uh, it's got the sort of old school soul feel, which is coming back in in the fold again. Bit of garage. Absolutely great backing vocals. Good mix. Um, I would have loved to hear a little bit more melody from Colin. Uh, Colin's got a fantastic range. On his vocals, mm-hmm. um, he was a little bit sticking to. I don't know. That's probably what he was told. But if he was given to Colin, he would go a little bit all over the. You know what I mean? Yeah. A bit more I suppose. Do you need? I don't know if you do that on a on a pop. Well, sort of garage two step tracks. I'm, mm. not, I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, would you? He would do a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Could have done with a middle eight. I thought personally, um, but generally all around, I love the track. It's absolutely brilliant oh definitely i think if mm. you're uh you're playing this out in the club and it's uh part of a garage uh two-step uh night or anything like that then this this uh track is not gonna uh go down badly at all it's gonna be one that's gonna work with the best i think Absolutely. so uh, if you want to vote for that um then jump up on boxfreshradio.com and vote for your uh, elevation i want your body featuring colin mills two-step mix uh i won't put two-step mix on there it will just be elevation i want your body featuring colin mills um so there we go uh that is pretty much all the tracks of today uh, we've had a right mix again which is great Fantastic. great for me because i love lots of different music mm. uh what did you think uh Love it all, love it all, and it's good to have that mixture, like like you says, because whether it's folk, punk, 
rock, reggae, soul, whatever it is. That's the good thing about the chart show is that you get a chance to listen to all types of music. And again, you can get to vote for whatever you like. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you go. Uh, that, that's it. I do need your help. I mean, thank you so, so much to everybody who voted. Uh, we nearly had over 500 plays in the first month. Um, and which is fantastic for a brand new show on a brand new uh, podcast um, radio channel. Um, so thank you very much for listening. And also thank you very much. I think we had something like 700 votes. So there's obviously people not listening and voting <laughs> in the uh, in the numbers. But yeah. uh, I don't mind. You've uh, It's all part. It's all fun at the end of the day. Um, and whoever came second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. As long as you've, uh, you know, you've fought it out, get a few of your mates to vote for you, then that's all I ask for. Uh, just help promote the show. Help promote yourself, basically. That's what, you know, that's what it's all about. So, And it's all about having fun at the end of the day. Um, so don't take me too seriously, because I do end up rambling and, and digging a lot of holes for myself. <laughs> um, and Alex, uh, anything you want to say before we, before we do the rundown? Um, I'd, I'd love to do my own show. Can I do my own show? I think you are doing your own show Am eventually, I? aren't you? What, uh, what would you do? What's well, your... I always loved, and I will never forget, it our tune. Was it called our tunes? Um, Simon Bates, I think he'd done in okay back in the day, yeah. where um, people sent in their their loves and things that happened bad to them, and the good times and the stories. bad times, the stories. That's right. And then um, I'd play some really nice romantic songs and really change the voice to something like this. <laughs> <laughs> you need some different music for that. I don't, we haven't got anything this. It'd be uh, if you're going to be start doing that. Maybe a bit of uh, this would probably go. I don't know whether this would work. I was going to say, go and try that voice now. That voice. That which voice? I can't get it now. <laughs> <laughs> the one where you, you've you've not just sipped some tea and ate a gold bar. <laughs> oh yeah, don't tell everybody about the gold bar. <laughs> you'll be at the gym in a minute burning yes, that off. Absolutely. If you were going to do it over this, you'd have well featuring. Annie Hellcott, fantastic song for the future. There you go, nice. That's 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 pretty. So you want some stories sent to you? Yes, I want some stories sent in. Um, you obviously the names will be changed. It's just really your story, good or bad. Um, and obviously, sometimes it helps other people when you yeah. hear other people's story and you think, "Hold on a minute, that's I've been through that." Um, and you get a nice happy ending, and you think, "Oh, okay." And you put a nice tune to it. It's fantastic. I absolutely yeah, love brilliant. the show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, um, have you got a name for the show? What, what, anything um, like I'm, that? I'm not at the moment. Not yet. So no, if not anybody yet. out there has got any names that they want to call it, um, I will send all of them to Alex, <laughs> even if you come up with some wacky ones and then yeah. feel, feel, feel free mm. to uh, use your, uh, let loose with your creative ideas. Um, but yeah, if you've got any stories out there, I think Alex wants. So if you've any... Uh, Love lost or love found or breakups, makeups, shake ups. Yes. Anything with ups in the and end? Downs, yeah. Uh, ups absolutely. And, oh, and the downs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, if you've got anything out there that you want to uh, have read out, and then are you going to play some music as well? I'll play some nice music, some love music, of course. And, oh, wow. And I might even sing myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm taking over here. If you, if you sing yourself, I'm going to have to have to do it myself. Start doing my uh, really fast talking over music. No, no, okay, I won't sing then. <laughs> no, I'm sure you. I'm sure you might get requested. Uh, um, putting, yeah, okay, all right. Well, yeah, if yeah. you want to help out with that, then feel free. Uh, send your uh, love stories, uh, good or bad to uh, boxfreshradio at gmail.com uh, because we haven't got a name for it uh, just put it in the subject love stories and uh, um, yeah I'll well I'll say I'll whoever's uh, filing and doing the emails will be able to sort them out uh, if you want to send your music to this uh, the chart show then again uh, send it to uh, boxfreshradio at gmail.com um, but also put in the subject magic chart show and I will um, get whoever or I will speak to you and uh, get it sorted out so we can get you played. Uh, that goes for interviews or anything else that you want to do and get involved with the show, then feel free. Okay, uh, I'm going to say uh, thank you for Alex uh, being here today. You no, enjoyed it? absolutely love it. No problem at all. You Got to come back. Can I come back? Yeah, yeah. We can have you. Well, you're going to have your own show now, oh, aren't yes. you? The old uh, about that. love section or whatever it's <laughs> called. Um, <laughs> Alex's love section. <laughs> Sort of middle mid area. Mm, nice. Yes, yes. Third of the way up. That's what you should call it. <laughs> Third, Third of the, of the way, way up. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, did you have a favourite with the trucks today? I, I've got to say, the um, guy from Libya. Uh, the uh, Hanny Elcott. That's the one, yeah. Absolutely Wish. I think it was Wish. If it's not Wish, yeah. mate, I am sorry. Mm. Uh, and then just get in touch with me and you can have a go. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, it was a good track. I was I was thinking with this track that if you were lying in a, a pool on holiday, yes, and they played it on the speakers while you were like drifting around the pool, looking up into the sky, yeah, I think it'd be <laughs> it'd be a good track. You're in the pool. There's no one else. Oh right, okay. I'm not saying you're on your back, <laughs> <laughs> looking up to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, this th- I'll be I'll be more for wine low. Wine if low. I was uh, in the on my back, <laughs> depends how low they can go. You know. Um, anyway, that's that's your show. That's my show. This, this is, is not my show. This yeah. is nice and family proof. Yes. Well, with exple- the odd expletive in people's music. <laughs> so I do apologise. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to say thank you to Alex. Thank you very much for coming. No problem. And uh, thank you to all you, you guys out there for listening. Um, yeah, please, 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 please jump online and vote, vote, vote. Okay, Alex, are you ready? I'm ready. You, you sound ready. Um, we're going to do the uh, the rundown now. Uh, so thank you very much for everybody getting involved uh, with the votes last uh, month. Um, please, please, please get involved with the votes this month again because it is quite fun. And uh, we had a kind of a three-horse race uh, then turned into a two-horse race. And we had one that uh, was at the top for a long time and then unfortunately uh, got knocked off. Um, but uh, you will hear more of them in the future because they, they were all fantastic, to be fair. So are you ready for the for the rundown? I'm ready. Well, how I'm going to do this, and I'll probably change it every month because it's my show and I've got a massive ego. Um, but this month, what I'm going to do is you're going to say the number, mm-hmm. as in 10, in yep. a nice, nice voice. Yeah. Uh, and then I will say what is at 10, and we will run it all the way up to 2, and then uh, then, then we'll celebrate number 1. Like it. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. At number 10... Okay, number 10, we've got Illiteracy, uh, is That's What's Real. It was uh, one that we thought was real. Real was a place in Wales, if you do want to visit real, but uh, the tune was very good. Uh, I enjoyed that one. At number 9. At number 9, we've got Born in November, Fly Like a Bird. Uh, go onto YouTube and check those guys out. Uh, it's them playing in a coffee shop, I think. Number 8. <laughs> number 8, we got Layover with Pigments. Uh, it was one of my favourites of the past show. I did have a lot of favourites, though. Number seven. Number seven, we got E Money, Ride and Coast, Ride and Coast, Ride and Coast. It was one that me and Dave uh, sang and uh, enjoyed, and we were singing all night in the pub actually to that one. So that was uh, that was yeah, E Money with Ride and Coast. Number six. Number six is Class Side, Magnetic Martha. That was actually my top track for the uh, show last month. Uh, number six, Mass. Oh uh, my God, Magnetic Martha, Class Side. Well done, guys. Number five. Number five is Alex's own North and South Caddy featuring Twisted Rev with Game Changer. Um, that's a great track. Go and check it out. Sell, 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 sell. Number four. Number four was Alibi with Alibi. Um, so that's Alibi by Alibi. So Alibi by Alibi uh, at number four. Number three. Number three was Dinky, The Place Between the Scenes. This was uh, one of the ones that was uh, start of the month was uh, one of the top runners. Number two. Number two is Melissa Allenby. Well done. Uh, you came out with the track you know. You were actually Dave's favourite. He was fantasising over your voice for a long time. Uh, well done to you in number two. With 230 votes on that one. So unfortunately, you were number two, not number one. But hey, you were very good. So uh, thank you very much to that. And at number one... Well done, guys. Uh, you have won this month. It is Effigy for Sleep with Dear Sky. Well done, well done, guys. Uh, you smashed it with 60% of the votes. You are April's uh, chart show track of the month. And that's official. Um, so, yeah, so uh, celebrations all around for you. So, everybody, everybody go and check them out on uh, social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Uh, go on there and click Effigy for Sky, like them, etc., etc. And that is it. So we're going to play that track. They're going to play us out uh, at the end of the show. So uh, thank you very much. And I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, please uh, hit me up at uh, Magic Palmer on Twitter. And uh, please, please send your uh, tracks in if you want to uh, be on the chart show. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll leave you with the boys from Effigy for Sleep to announce the track. 
Hello, Calvin and Sam here. We'd like to thank you all for the votes on our track, Dear Sky. And thank you to Jayco Promotions for shouting us out. We are currently working on an EP which will hopefully be out later this year and our next gig is on the 27th of May at Katie Fitzgerald's in Stalbridge. Can't make that? We got one at the Sunflower Lounge in Birmingham on the 5th of August. But without further ado, Dear Sky. radio.com and vote for your favorite track which will be played on next month's show thank you and good night